Ilex decidua is deciduous holly or possum haw. Most of the hollies that we learn in our plant materials classes are evergreen, but this one happens to be deciduous. It's native um, to southeastern Oklahoma and parts kind of east of there. It's in that range of large shrub to small tree. Um, it usually has suckers and um, kind of thickets um, from the roots, so if you want to keep it as a tree, there's some maintenance involved. Um, you'll find these at the front entrance of the ARC, and we actually do uh, have to regularly prune those to make sure that there aren't suckers coming up from the roots. Um, they can be pruned into a single stem, but that is even kind of more maintenance involved, but um, you, they can actually be treated either way. The leaf on this is, um, is ob ovate, which means it's thicker down here towards the end than at the base. And these actually have some spur growth, so you'll see tiny spurs, the little short branches where the leaves appear a little bit clustered. It's sort of a glossy medium to dark green leaf um, with kind of a, a little bit of a maroon petiole towards the bottom. Um, the deciduous holly is dioecious, which means that male and female flowers are on different, completely different plants. So if you want to have the, um, the bright red berries, which are, are the real ornamental interest in the winter, you have to have um, the female flower um, to, to produce that. But it's a very showy fruit and kind of stays on all winter, so it's really great for winter interest. And there's actually different cultivars. Um, the species is red, but um, cultivars could be yellow fruiting or orange fruiting. As you can see, the flowers aren't real showy. They're kind of interesting. They're right along the branches, and then that's where the fruit develops. Um, the, the bark eventually is, is sort of a dark gray, but um, stays a light gray for, for some period of time and stays um, smooth in texture.